Hi, Don Wilkerson here, welcoming you to Module 2 in our tutorial on Microsoft's PhotoStory 3.0. In this segment, we'll discuss importing images as well as image editing using PhotoStory. To get started, download your free copy of PhotoStory from the PhotoStory website. I suggest that you have PhotoStory open while watching this video. That way you can stop and practice as we go along. To start a new photo story, click on the Begin a New Story button and then click on the Next button at the bottom of the screen. The timeline, located at the bottom of the screen, is used to arrange images in the order in which you want them to appear in the photo story. Importing images into photo story is easy start by clicking on the import pictures button. Next, locate the designated folder and select the image or images you've pre-prepared for use in the photo story. Then click on the OK button. You can also drag and drop these images onto the timeline. Once you have the images on the timeline, you can drag and drop them into the appropriate order. If necessary, you can do some image editing in PhotoStory by clicking on the Edit button. In the Edit window, you can rotate images, apply red-eye reduction, or other image effects. You can also crop images to a more appropriate size. I suggest using images that are 640 by 480. However, on occasion, it may be necessary to use images that have a different size. This can result in a black border around the image. To remove this black border, simply click on the Remove Black Borders button. PhotoStory will then provide a tool to assist in resizing and cropping the image. Click Yes to apply the changes. Remember, it's always easier to pre-prepare these images before importing them into PhotoStory. As you can see, there are a variety of different techniques for importing and editing images in PhotoStory. That's where practice and hands-on experience will become valuable. That brings us to the conclusion of Module 2. Next, we'll discuss the creation of captions, title slides, and word art. 